Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do this Valentine's Day look. It's an everyday look, but I did it specifically for Valentine's Day because I did a look with pink, which I don't know if everybody's gonna wear pink. I did another look that's warmer, a more sunset look. And again, I don't know if people are gonna even wanna wear eyeshadow. So I figured I'd do one with just eyeliner, show you guys how I do my eyeliner because it's classic and it's everyday. So if that's the type of makeup person that you are, then I think this video will be perfect for you. So keep on watching. Because this is going to be a really easy look, I'm not going to be using my eye primer today. I'm just going to go straight in with the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette in the shade Desert Sand. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is like funking up still. Can't seem to kick this sickness. So all I'm gonna do for this look is warm up my crease. And I'm just gonna go in with the shade Amber and do that really lightly. I really want the main focus of this look to be the eyeliner. So I'm gonna go in with Amber on this Makeup Forever 218 brush. Go back in with the brush you use Desert Sand on. And that's that for the crease. So now we're going to go in with our eyeliner and I'm going to be using the Maneater by Tarte. It looks like this. This eyeliner is going to go from thin to thick. I just like it better that way. I don't like like one even thickness for some reason. I think like it's more of a cat eye. It looks prettier. So let me show you how I do this. So I always like to start in the inner corner. I never do the wing first just because I always end up messing up. And you want to look at where your crease ends because you don't want the wing to run through the crease otherwise it will end up having a bend in it. And a lot of people make the mistake of doing that. So you really want to get it to go out. Mine have to be directly out so it doesn't touch my crease. Mine is point straight out on both eyes. So you want to look at where you have that open gap and unfortunately if you don't have that gap you might not be able to do that big of a wing. So I just press against my lash line. And just draw a baseline first. And then for some reason, I don't, there's no reason why I do this, but I always do the top first. I just fling it out a little. And then I do the bottom. That's how I like to do my wing. You can do it thicker if you want in the inner corner, or thicker on the lid, or thicker in the wing, but for me, this is what I like. Now, I know a lot of people don't wear lashes, so for this look, I wanted to keep it lashless, but I wanted to show you guys how I do my lashes on the regular daily. What? So, I use two mascaras, and they're both from Lancome. 
so they're a little bit pricey but honestly i think they're worth it i will show you guys why so the first one i use is definicils it really spaces out your lashes really well I kind of use this one as a primer. Next, I'm going to use Lancome's Hypnose Drama. And I always just wipe off the brush so I don't get too much. Sometimes I'll just do one more coat. And then I'll go back in with the pinacils and just kind of tap it. Lastly, I'm going to do some lips. Next, we're going to do some highlight. I'm going to use Too Faced Love Light in You Light Up My Life. And it looks like it's kind of going to like fall out of the bottle. It's a little bit used. This is my favorite one. I've got a couple pimples on my cheeks, so we're about to highlight those up nice. Also gonna use this in my inner corner. And then also on the brow bone. Lastly, we're gonna do some more lips and we're going to use Max lip liners in Soar and Boldly Bear. This was my absolute favorite combination like two years ago. So I just put Soar all around. And then boldly bare in the middle. And that's the final look. Let's just set it. And this is the final look. I just figured I'd do this look for the people who don't wear too much makeup. In my everyday life, I just wear eyeliner. So I figured for those people who don't enjoy eyeshadows as much, this is the perfect look. I want to thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos. If not, it's cool. You're a one-time watcher. It's all good. I know those ones. And I'll see you guys in my next video.